The XB-70 Valkyrie, originally developed as a Mach 3 Plus strategic bomber during the Cold War, was one of the fastest and most advanced aircraft of its time. Designed by North American Rockwell, it could soar at 70,000 feet, outrunning enemy interceptors with sheer speed. While only two prototypes were built and the bomber program was eventually canceled, the Valkyrie's legacy took a futuristic turn. Engineers envisioned it as a hypersonic air launcher, a flying mothership capable of deploying rockets or space planes mid-flight at high altitudes and speeds. Though the concept never materialized, it laid the foundation for modern air launch systems and showcased just how far ahead of its time the XB-70 really was. Europe's Space Rider is a groundbreaking reusable space plane set to launch its first mission in 2027. Developed by the European and Italian space agencies, this uncrewed robotic laboratory will ride atop the Vega C Plus rocket into low Earth orbit, carrying up to 600 kilograms of cargo for experiments in microgravity, materials science, and biomedicine. Equipped with a 1,200 liter payload bay and powered by a service module, Space Rider can stay in orbit for up to two months. After completing its mission, it will jettison its service module and return safely to Earth, gliding to a precise runway landing using a steerable parafoil system. Building on Europe's earlier re-entry tech success, Space Rider promises affordable, routine, and reusable access to space for scientific research and technology demonstration. Virgin Galactic, founded by Sir Richard Branson in 2004, is a trailblazer in space tourism, aiming to make space travel accessible to private individuals. Operating from Spaceport America in New Mexico, their Spaceship 2 series, including the VSS Unity, achieved its first suborbital flight in 2018 and famously carried Branson himself into space in 2021. Now, Virgin Galactic is developing its next-generation Delta-class vehicles designed for improved efficiency and more frequent flights. Commercial space tourism flights are expected to begin in 2026, with ticket prices around $450,000 and over 600 reservations already booked. Beyond tourism, Virgin Galactic is also exploring opportunities in defense and research, expanding its vision for the future of private space flight. The Renova SSTO, short for Reusable Nova, was a bold rocket concept from the 1960s that aimed to reach orbit in a single stage and return safely to Earth. No boosters or separate stages needed. What set it apart was its innovative air breathing system, which used inlets to mix atmospheric air with exhaust during ascent, boosting thrust and saving onboard fuel. Once in space, it switched to full rocket mode, Powered by hydrogen and oxygen with an aerospike-style engine ring, Renova was designed to carry up to 450,000 kilograms and land using parachutes for reuse. Though it never flew, this concept still inspires today's vision of reusable, efficient space travel. Polaris Dawn is a groundbreaking private space mission led by SpaceX and billionaire astronaut Jared Isaacman pushing the boundaries of commercial space exploration. Launched aboard a Falcon 9 rocket, the mission reached an incredible altitude of 1,400 kilometers, higher than any human spaceflight since the Apollo era. Over five days, the crew performed the first ever commercial spacewalk using next-gen SpaceX EVA suits, tested laser-based Starlink communications, and conducted over 30 science and medical experiments, including studies on radiation exposure. Polaris Dawn marks a major leap toward future missions to the Moon and Mars, proving that private spaceflight is no longer just a dream, it's happening now. Zafalto is set to launch a new era of luxury space tourism with its upcoming manned flights aboard the Celeste capsule. Unlike traditional rockets, this pressurized capsule is lifted by a giant helium balloon to an altitude of 25 kilometers, giving passengers a breathtaking view of Earth's curvature and the dark sky above. The six-hour journey includes a smooth 90-minute ascent, three hours of floating in the stratosphere, 
and a peaceful descent, all in complete comfort. Designed by architect Joseph Diron and supported by France's space agency, CNES, the experience includes Michelin-starred dining, fine wine, panoramic windows, and even Wi-Fi on board. With commercial flights expected to begin in 2025 and tickets priced between $132,000 and $170,000, Zafalto offers a once-in-a-lifetime journey to the edge of space in true French luxury. NASA's X-59 Cues to Cast is a revolutionary supersonic aircraft designed to bring back faster-than-sound travel without the disruptive sonic boom. Built by Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, the X-59 is nearly 100 feet long with a sleek needle-like shape and a unique engine placement that reduces the sonic boom to a soft thump. It cruises at Mach 1.4, or about 925 miles per hour, at 55,000 feet, Instead of traditional cockpit windows, it uses a high-resolution external vision system to guide the pilot. As part of NASA's Quest mission, it will fly over U.S. communities to collect public feedback on its quiet design, paving the way for future commercial supersonic travel, like flying from New York to Paris in just over three hours. The X-59 isn't just fast, it's the future of silent, sustainable air travel. NASA's Habitable Worlds Observatory is a next-generation space telescope designed to answer one of humanity's biggest questions. Are we alone in the universe? Set to launch in the 2040s, this powerful observatory will directly image and study Earth-like exoplanets orbiting nearby stars using a massive 6 to 8 meter mirror and advanced instruments. Equipped with a state-of-the-art coronagraph or star shade to block out starlight, it will search for biosignatures like oxygen and methane in alien atmospheres, key signs of potential life. Building on the legacies of Hubble, James Webb, and the Roman Space Telescope, NASA's Habitable Worlds Observatory is our most ambitious mission yet to find life beyond our solar system. Atmos Space Cargo's Phoenix capsule is revolutionizing space logistics as Europe's first private spacecraft designed for safe, reusable cargo missions. In April 2025, Phoenix One launched on a SpaceX rideshare and successfully tested an innovative inflatable heat shield during re-entry. Although it splashed down off the coast of Brazil due to a trajectory change, it transmitted crucial data proving the mission's success and the effectiveness of its cutting-edge design. This milestone establishes Atmos as a leader in sustainable space cargo solutions, with plans for the next-generation Phoenix 2 capsule featuring its own propulsion system for precise, controlled re-entry and recovery. This breakthrough technology promises to transform how cargo is returned from space, paving the way for more efficient, reusable missions in the future. Dassault Aviation's Vortex is a revolutionary, reusable space plane designed to reshape Europe's future in space. Revealed at the 2025 Paris Air Show, it's built to launch atop a rocket and return to Earth with a jet-like runway landing. Backed by 30 million euros from the French Ministry of Armed Forces and supported by ESA's Explore 2040 initiative, Vortex will be developed in phases, starting with a scaled demonstrator and progressing to full cargo and crewed missions. With a large payload bay, precise re-entry control, and full reusability, Vortex is ideal for satellite servicing, cargo delivery, defense, and exploration. It's a major step toward making Europe's space missions more independent, efficient, and sustainable. Spaceship Neptune, developed by Space Perspective, offers a groundbreaking and luxurious way to experience the edge of space. Unlike traditional rockets, this pressurized capsule is lifted by a massive hydrogen-filled balloon, gently ascending to 100,000 feet over two hours. Inside, up to eight passengers can relax in the spacious space lounge, complete with panoramic windows, reclining seats, mood lighting, Wi-Fi, a bar, and even a restroom. After floating peacefully in the stratosphere, 
the capsule slowly descends and lands safely in the ocean using a parachute and splash cone system. With ticket prices around $125,000 and commercial flights expected soon, Spaceship Neptune brings a calm, elegant, and eco-friendly space experience to adventurous travelers. The Rockwell C-1057, nicknamed the Flying Bread Box, was a bold and unconventional space shuttle concept proposed in the 1970s. Designed by North American Rockwell, the C-1057 aimed to shorten the shuttle's length without sacrificing cargo capacity by rotating the payload bay 90 degrees, resulting in a squat, wide-body appearance. This unique configuration drew inspiration from aerodynamic principles and was reminiscent of early lifting body aircraft designs. Although the C-1057 never advanced beyond the conceptual stage, it remains a fascinating example of aerospace innovation and creative problem solving. Today, the concept continues to captivate space enthusiasts and serves as a testament to the imaginative designs that have shaped space exploration history. SpaceX's Starship is on track to make history with an ambitious mission to Mars, the first step toward making humanity a multi-planetary species. Designed as a fully reusable spacecraft, Starship will launch atop the powerful Super Heavy booster and carry over 100 tons of cargo or passengers. Elon Musk aims for an uncrewed launch by 2026 and a crewed mission by 2028-2029. The plan involves orbital refueling before heading to Mars, a controlled descent for landing, and producing return fuel on the Red Planet using local resources. This mission will pave the way for Mars Base Alpha, SpaceX's vision of the first human settlement on Mars. With multiple successful test flights already completed, Starship is no longer just a dream. It's a bold reality in the making. Spin Launch is revolutionizing space travel by using a giant vacuum-sealed centrifuge to launch satellites without rockets or fuel. By spinning a small launch vehicle at hypersonic speeds over 5,000 miles per hour and flinging it into the sky, this kinetic launcher could slash launch costs by up to 70%, drastically reduce environmental impact, and enable multiple launches every day. Having already completed successful test flights with NASA and Airbus payloads, Spin Launch is now developing a full-scale system to send small satellites into orbit by 2026. This breakthrough technology promises faster, greener, and far more affordable access to space, potentially transforming how we build and maintain satellite networks in the near future. The X-37B is a secretive, reusable space plane operated by the U.S. Space Force, known for its mysterious missions and advanced technology. Resembling a mini space shuttle, it can land autonomously on runways and has completed seven missions since 2010. Its latest flight, launched in December 2023 on a SpaceX Falcon Heavy, spent a record 434 days in orbit before landing in March 2025. During this mission, the X-37B used innovative aerobraking techniques to change orbits without heavy fuel and carried out classified experiments focused on space surveillance. This space plane continues to push the limits of military space technology, making it one of the most intriguing spacecraft in orbit today. NASA's Orion spacecraft is a crucial part of the Artemis program, built to carry astronauts to the moon and beyond. Developed by Lockheed Martin, Orion features advanced docking systems using cameras, LIDAR, and smart software to autonomously connect with the International Space Station, the Lunar Gateway, and lunar landers like SpaceX's Starship. This technology ensures precise and safe docking during critical missions including Artemis III, which aims to return humans to the moon's surface. Launching atop NASA's powerful Space Launch System rocket, Orion's ability to dock in space enables smooth crew transfers and marks a big leap forward in sustainable lunar exploration, paving the way for future journeys to Mars.